In this episode of Evan and Lemon, we take you to the number one bar in the world. Evan almost dies. I have died. I've gone to churl heaven. And we show you the best things to do in Barcelona. Welcome back to the channel, friends. Coming to you from Barcelona, Spain. Country number 20. We're so excited to be here. We have a lot of fun things planned. But first, what better way to get to know a country than through its food? So we have come to... El Nacional. It's, it's like a food hall, so... Yeah, so it looks really fancy inside, uh, but we're probably gonna try some tapas and maybe get some cava. You ready to go? Maybe some sangria. Ooh, yeah, sangria. A lot of the restaurants here haven't opened yet, but they do have a bar. Uh, so we stopped to get some appetizers, and I got a glass of kava. Lemon got a draft beer. Um, we're trying some more traditional food today. Uh, the first thing we got is called tortilla de patata, right? It's like a Spanish, they're calling it, it's like a Spanish omelet with cheese, onion, and potato, and eggs. But it looks more like a frittata, and then he topped it with olive oil and chives, and it looks so so tasty. Next, we've ordered some pinchos, which are like, I feel like we might get a lot of comments about this, but it's, I would say it's similar to bruschetta and the way that it, the bread is the vessel for the toppings. So we got two, one that's like an octopus, I think seafood salad, and the other one is ham and cheese. And then we're just waiting on some delicious tomato bread to come out as well. My whole mouth is like filled with saliva. I'm so excited to drop this. Okay. It's actually served cold, which is kind of weird. I was expecting it to be hot, but it is so tasty. It's like really salty from the onions and you put really good olive oil on top. And then the chives just kind of bring it all together. This is so tasty. All right, so the pinchos come with a little skewer and they serve it on top of the bread. So that's why I haven't said similar to bruschetta style. All right. And then this is an octopus and Russian salad cheese on top. Uh, potatoes and like almost like a crab meat kind of flavor to it. I don't want to get too much oxalis, but it's good. I think the texture of the cheese might be making me think it's like shredded crab, so yeah, it's good though. Mm. He's right, it's like potato salad with a little bit of octopus in it. It's actually really, really tasty. Let me get a piece of octopus. I don't think there's, I don't think there's octopus in this. I think it's just potato salad. Did you get any? No? Well, regardless, it's delicious. Got it there. Pretty good. I got the pan con tomato. So pretty much I just toast up the baguette, spread it with olive oil and salt, and then they smash the tomato like right on top of it. <laughs> they haven't spread it, they just squeeze it. So uh, it's real good. We actually cheated and had some yesterday. Mm. Better than what we had yesterday? Yeah, that's even better because it's really, really thin, so. Yesterday it was like a thicker frontier loaf. Yeah, really good, real salty. We need a little pick me up because we're about to head to La Sagrada Familia. We have uh, tickets at 2.45, so we're gonna chug these and make our way over there. fancy place. We were looking at oysters, they were like six dollars an oyster. And they had caviar, it's a little bit out of our budget. Hi 
thing is huge. I had no idea it was this big. All right, friends, we've made it to the Sagrada Familia. We have tickets for... 2.45. Yes, <laughs> to go in and check it out. We're not sure how much we're gonna be able to film inside, but you can see it, part of it right behind us. Kind of hard to see in this lighting. And it just started raining, oh my gosh. Um, so it's been under construction since 1882? Yeah, and I uh, think they said it'll finish in 2026 or 2027. Yeah, we'll see, it's kind of like the Notre Dame reconstruction. Keeps going and going. <laughs> yeah, if you're not familiar with the architect, um, Anthony Gaudi, uh, do a quick Google search. His story is really, really interesting. We're not going to go into it here in this video, but he did design a ton of buildings around Barcelona, uh, one of which we visited earlier. Casa Batalo. Batio? Bat Casa Batio. Yeah. Uh, he's got a few more that we're going to be exploring, but there's like no photo or video inside, yeah. so we can only show you from the outside. Yeah. Much like this one, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, a little expensive, but. It's one of the things you have to do when you're in Barcelona. Yeah, I think we paid 25 each to go in, so uh, we should probably go because it's starting to rain. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get in line. Four o'clock, so the bells are ringing, songs are playing. So, what'd you think? It was well worth it. Uh, stained glass windows were awesome. You get the sunlight come through, even though it was rather cloudy at the time. Yeah, they were definitely like the brightest of any stained glass windows we've seen. Uh, and we took a bunch of video on the inside, but the video does not do it any justice at all. Like, you really just have to come and see it in person. Because... All right, so that ends today's portion. We're gonna go back and get some work done. And we'll see you tomorrow for more food and a few more attractions. Good morning, friends. It is a beautiful and very windy day here in Barcelona. Uh, right behind us is the last building that Anthony Gotti designed before he died, and it's called Casa Mila. So we bought tickets to go inside. There's supposed to be some kind of like virtual reality thing involved. Oh, yeah, it was cool. 35 euro a person, but it's like the full experience. There's also uh, like abstract art exhibit too. It's got some uh, Mark Rothko and Jackson Pollock paintings too. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so it was six hours more or it's all included with the full experience. So nice. we opted to go that route. So, Ready to go? Yeah, let's go check it out. So that was definitely really interesting. Uh, I thought the VR was actually really, really fun. So if you get the option to come here, I definitely recommend doing that. Yeah, I couldn't really grab the objects, but uh, figure it out eventually. So <laughs> it was good. Yeah, and it's definitely, um, it's really cool because you get to see kind of like what the apartment looks like, like one of the apartments looks like back in the, what, 20s? Yeah. And then upstairs there's like a, museum almost of Gaudi's work which was really interesting too. The audio guide's great. Yeah, the whole place is a museum. It also says don't touch everything. A little yappy dog over there. <laughs> yeah, so the whole place is a museum. So as the signs say and people can't read, please do not touch. Sit down on the objects or you know just be a real jerk about everything. Yeah, we'd like to take a, a quick minute to talk about that. If you, like Levin said, if you go into a museum, don't be an asshole. Don't touch everything when you're not supposed to be touch, uh, touching everything. I was blown away. I know you were too. People are opening shutting doors, trying to open windows. Picking up antique phones and anyways, yeah. just don't be that asshole. Be a good human. <laughs> yeah, but it was uh, definitely worth it. I think we're off to the market now. Yeah. Try we're, some more food. We're hungry, we need some food, and I think we might need a cocktail as well. Yeah, definitely after that. <laughs> Yeah. 
All right, guys, so we've come to the Santa Catarina market, which is supposed to be more of like a locals market. They do sell things like meats, fruits, and vegetables here, but we managed to find a bar. We ordered some tapas, and I'm so excited because they look so delicious. We each got an alcoholic beverage as well. I went with a cava and lemon got the most delicious vermouth. It's so good. And they serve it with an olive and a lemon. It's very tasty. So the little tapas bar we're at is called La Universe, I think. Uh, anyways, we've ordered some pepper, how do you say these? Uh, padron peppers. Padron peppers, which essentially they look to me kind of like similar to shishito peppers, um, but they're blistered and tossed with olive oil and salt. And we got the most delicious pile of fried calamari. It looks so good. And then Lemon got some croquettes, which I'm not really sure what they are, but they're like an assortment of different, like they're filled with different things and breaded. Let's dig in. Mm. Oh my God. They're not spicy at all, but they're like salty and whatever olive oil they put on there is really, really good. So we got an assortment of croquettes. There was bowl stale. There's actually just to tell the Spanish bowl. There's like a stew one that's like a, a famous cocido stew. And there's limon iberico and pot. Pot was the last one. <laughs> Don't know which is which, so let's try them all. Mystery number three. Let's see it. So that's probably the bull's tail. <laughs> Very fibery looking. <laughs> Good though. Is it like a whole piece or is it like a mash? It's like a mash. Oh. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna lie, I've been digging into the squid, the fried squid, like the whole time that I was filming Lemon eating those croquettes, and it is probably the best like calamari I think I've ever had. Um, it tastes really fresh. It's not chewy at all. And then just put fresh lemon on top. And this was only six euro, I think. No, I think that was 10 euro for the whole plate. Oh, shit. Well, either That's way, it's still a good, healthy portion. Big portion. just come to a bar called Paradiso, which in this year, 2022, was voted the number one bar in the world. I'm so excited. It's about an hour, hour and a half away, do you say? But they have tables here. You can get a drink while you're waiting. Yeah, so, so. we'll show you the line. Oh, it's windy. <laughs> we'll show you the line that, it's actually really not that long. We got here about 30 minutes after they opened. Then he said, yeah, if you don't want to wait in line, you can have a seat and have a drink while you wait to get into the bar. We were like, Okay, obviously we're gonna do that. So we've ordered up some cocktails and um, we're just gonna wait to get in. There we go. We've made it in, we got a table. Uh, we ordered two cocktails. We ordered the Tesla and the Immersion. They look really fun. Artusia glass, right? Yes. Okay, this glass is the glass of the beer for life. The color are the flavors. We had red color for the sweet taste, yellow one for the mommy taste, and the sky for the fresh taste. So with a little bit of imagination, you're drinking with your eyes. I got the Tesla, inspired by electricity. It's got the Tesla coil. More electricity there. Oops. So I can't even remember what are, what's in these drinks anymore because that was so exciting. Um, but mine was like almost like a guava, but like also kind of a salty flavor to it. And then there's like a sorbet, a lemon sorbet in the middle. Mm. 
sido los pasos de la ya le hemos crecido y me parece que fue que nos hemos aprobado el día de mercado. The dilution part of our capital. Wow. What can I keep up minus five and I'm closing out there? Wow. <laughs> Cloud with a coffee flavor. Just got done at Paradiso. What do you think of it? Um, the cocktails were really good. The service was like on par. That is a well-oiled machine. Like from waiting in line to getting a, like a drink on the patio to getting upstairs, everything was yeah. flawless. Well, deserving of the best bar in the world yeah, in 2022. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely stop by. The wait's not bad. Yeah, just get a cocktail while you're waiting. Yeah, and now we have one last treat. We have to get before they close because it's yeah. getting close. <laughs> Actual sweet treat. Yes, let's get it. All right, so we just ordered churros and they've just given us a giant hot steaming mug of chocolate and this is officially the best day of my life <laughs> oh my gosh they're still hot you just fried them they're like steaming hot so. yeah we'll wait a minute before we try them I can't wait. I'm going for it. Oh my gosh. I have died. I've gone to churro heaven. We've had a lot of churros in our lifetime. Hands down, these are the best. Wow. All right, so we had to get another portion of what do you call it? Gracias. Gracias. Okay, so this is called Horas, which I think actually we don't know anything about. Is this the same uh, same uh, batter as the churro? No, oh, it's very different. The flour and the taste very ah, very different. Ah, okay, yeah, okay, got it. Thank you. So you gotta try it out. Yeah, so these are not not similar to churros, but <laughs> we're gonna try them. She said they were really, really good. Oh, these are hot too. It just came out. <laughs> Give it a minute. Well, you can see it though. Like, look at the bread. Oh. I can't wait. I don't even care if I burn my tongue. Mm. These are better than the churros. They're like. The bread inside is really like spongy and actually kind of like buttery and salty. Oh. New thing you have to add to your food bucket list. Hold us. Yeah, roll the R. I can't roll the R. I don't know how to do it. Hold us. Supposed to be leaving tomorrow, but I think we're gonna live here now. At this churro stand. <laughs> Churros and porras. The last food bowl of chocolate. I'm so sad. <laughs> okay, I'm out. Rest all you, boo. Heaven.
use it all in the poros. <laughs> so you didn't get to drink your chocolate? No. If you don't follow us on Instagram, now is a good time. At Evan and Levin. Just enjoying, they're so good.